Hi guys. Today I'm gonna talk about I Ching. I wanted to make a video about Inchik. I was thinking about it. And uh, two of my favorite YouTubers, um, Rika Jam and Kikdoki, asked me to do a video about I Ching. So yeah, I'm doing it. I really ap appreciate you guys, Rika Jam and Kikdoki. They have amazing videos. They are. I respect them so much for their knowledge. Knowledge. They are amazing. I keep making videos, guys. I love watching your channels. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna talk about I Ching. What is I Ching? I Ching is a Chinese method of divination, and it's more like um, getting, you know, uh, information or uh, advice from the universe. It was created uh, 2,500 years before Christ by a Chinese philosopher, I don't remember his name, I mean, it's in Chinese. Um, so, it's, I Ching has been around for around, for about 4,000 4, years, 4 to 5,000 years, really, really long. So, yeah. And what do we need in order to use the I Ching? First of all, we need three coins. Those Chinese good luck coins you can find in every uh, Feng Shui shop or New Age shop. These are perfect. If you can't find them, you can use, you know, coins, regular coins you use, you know, like money. And you also need a piece of paper and a pen. I've lost my pen. There it is. Anyway, but basically, you need the pen the paper and those three coins. And how does uh, I Ching work? Well, I Ching uh, uses, is based on the belief that everything in uh, this world has its exact opposite. It's, you know, it's based on yin and yang. And uh, in order to get, you know, an advice, a reading with I Ching, we have to create uh, some hexagrams. Those hexagrams uh, are six lines, and basically they are made out of uh, three tree grams. It's, uh, those tree grams are um, symbols made out of three lines. And there's a book I mean, in Greek which shows us the, th the eight uh, tree grams. There are eight of them. This one means sky, the second one, earth. Thunder and um, water, mountain, um, wind, lake, and fire. If you combine these eight together, if you combine the first, the sky with the earth, you get an hexagram. And you, and this is the advice they give you. If you combine the second one with the uh, fifth one, you get another hexagram, etc. That's how it works. But how do we get into the hexagrams. I'm going to show you this table later. Later. Well, what you do is you take those three coins in your hands. You use both hand, both hands. I can't do that right now because I'm holding the camera with the one hand. You use your both hands. You put them in your hands. You think of your question. You really think about it. You know, you are you concentrate, and uh, then you just shake them. You know, you give them a shake and to drop them. And then you get them together. It's really important how they fall, the side they've fallen. If they have fallen on their tail, which is where the number is, uh, they, they have the value of the number two. If they, the coins fall on their um, heads, it's where then they have the value of the number three. So this time I got two tails and one head, which means three plus two plus two gives us seven. Three plus two plus two. Three plus two makes us five. Plus two gives us seven. If we have an odd number, that's where the pen and paper come in, we Sorry, my finger. We, it's really hard doing all of this with one hand. 
guys, well, we have uh, the not odd number seven. We draw a line, a single line, a single horizontal line, which uh, which stands for the number seven. This line stands whether we get the number three, five, seven, eleven, and etc. We do this six times. In each ink, we start. We always start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. The second time, we make another the line we get. If we shake them again, you know, shake them and chop them, we do. We create the second line. This time, we have two heads and one tail, which means three plus three plus two gives us eight. When we have a, uh, an even number, we draw two lines the one next to each other, like this. This kind of line stands for all the even numbers, like 2, 4, 6, 8, and etc. As I said, we do this for six times, and we, that way we get six lines, which make our hexagon, like this. This is an hexagon we may get if we uh, shake and drop our coins for six times. This is the, f that's the line we get from the first time, the second time, the third time. As I said, we work from the bottom our way to the top. Now, uh, there are times that you may get three heads or three tails at one time. If you do this, if, you, if, it, it, if it, this happens, what you do. If you if you get three heads like this, this means three plus three plus three, you get nine. Three, six, nine. If you get a combination like this, you draw one single line because you got the number nine. But then you have to create another hexagram with the exact opposite line to this. You make another hexagram with the line which is uh, for the, the even numbers. If something like this happens, but, uh, I mean, if you get in, in a reading, you get three uh, coins uh, with the same value, this means that the reading is very important, that you have, uh, that, you know, that each ink wants to give you some extra advice. That's why you create six hexagrams. For example, and for example if you, if I said, sorry, if you get this, you draw, if you get three, uh, three uh, heads, you draw a single number and then you create an, another hexagram, turning this one line into those two divided lines. And you carry on doing your hexagram. If this happens again, if, for example, the next line, for the next line you get this, two heads and one tail, you have three plus three, six plus three, eight. You draw two lines. And then you draw the same thing in your second hexagram too. And you work your way that way up to the top until you get six hexagrams. If we go on, let's say that we get another, you know, another eight, another single line, single line, and a single line. And let's say that this last line, the upper line, is the result of having three uh, heads again. Then we continue um, drawing our hexagram all the way up, but this line we turn into those two lines. That way we get our two hexagrams. This is one hexagram, if there's not such thing happening, and this is the, the reading if we have um, three uh, coins with the same value. And that's it, actually. We have our hexagrams, and what we, what, what we need to do next is get into a table like this. Uh, you, have, you can find tables like this on the internet, or you can buy special books for, um, on, uh, on I Ching, and you, can f uh, you have to find your hexagram. For example, for this reading, 
we our hexagram is we take the first to find a hexagram we we take the first three lines, the bottom lines, and look them up there. And the three upper lines we look them up there. So this uh, hexagram is the combination of this one and this one. So um it's the combination it's hexagram number 59, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's 59. So this hexagram is the hexagram 59. What we do next, if we have a reading like this, where we get two hexagrams, we find both of them in the table. Now, we have the hexagram number 59. So we go to the hexagram. If we look it up. 59. Which is one dispersion, it means division or division dissolution, rigidity. Sorry about my pronunciation. I don't know this word and stubbornness. Have to look them up. Anyway, and you read what the hexagram tells you. Tells you, and there's also let me put it that way so it doesn't shine much. And there are also the line readings, what each line of the hexagram means. And there's also your hexagram again. So, yeah, that's how I Ching works. Uh, it's not what I Ching isn't. It's not like, um, you know, asking, is he in love with me? Or will I get uh, this job? Or w will I move house? I Ching can't answer questions like this. Uh, I Ching can answer questions like, um, uh, how is my relationship going? Or what do I have to do in order to get a better job? Or, um, you know, um, I'm feeling this way about this woman or this guy. Uh, how can I get closer to her or him? Uh, it's more like, not a divination tool, but an advice tool. It helps you, you know, um, realize what you need, realize your thoughts, and gives you great advice on it. You know, it, it's really helping. Um, I'm usually using it once a month for a specific question. You know, looking, you know, wanting to know how am I doing. It's great for general readings too. You know, where I'm, what phase of my life am I at? What's the next step I have to take in order to get there? Or what's coming up next? You know, that's teaching is great on this. On this. And uh, it is uh, if you have a table and you have the meanings of each hexagram, it's actually easier done than explained in this video. Um, made with one hand and uh, yeah. Um, all you need to do is take three coins, shake them, drop them six times and get the lines. Uh, as I said, uh, the heads uh, have the number three and tails have the number two. If you get three coins at the same time, then you have to make two hexagrams. Drawing an extra line, the opposite line, to the line that you've come up with uh, the three um, similar coins, as I did in this example. If the first line on the bottom here is um, there is uh, the result of three coins uh, falling on the same side, then you have to draw the opposite line, you know, the line, uh, the two lines. Um, and remember that you always start from the bottom and work your way up. It's like a plant that starts to grow, a, a human who, uh, who is um, growing, the sun coming up from the, uh, on the horizon. That's the way teaching wor works. It's you know nature-based, and as I said, it has to do with uh, yin and yang. So yeah, um, that was my video on teaching. I hope I didn't uh, trouble you a lot with the camera work. 
um, I tried my best, guys. It, you know, I was trying to uh, shake coins with one hand, with one hand, and make a video with another hand. Hope you really like the video. Um, would be interested to know what you think on each ink if you use each ink, um, your experiences with it, and uh, would really love if you made also if you also made a, um, a video response. Uh, on because there are ways, some other ways people, you know, ask each ink. For example, um, I have read that some people use uh, sticks uh, to uh, get an each ink reading. I am using coins, and uh, yeah, that's it actually. And I don't know if I, I can't remember if I wanted to say anything else. Um, yeah, that's it. Take care, everyone. Hope you liked the video and um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.